Welcome one, welcome all. It's NCAA Hoops on a Wednesday evening in Chicago as the visiting Bulldogs of Butler come into Wintrust Arena to take on the DePaul Blue Demons. She's got the ball right now. She had missed some time for DePaul on concussion protocol, so good to see her back for DePaul. Already pulling up in big three to start the game, Rogers. Good defense in transition, passing ahead. Layup, two hands and good for number 22, Peoples, and the senior out of Danville. It speaks well of him and, and how much his players like him, that they followed him sure, to Butler. Sure, sure. Quick 8-5 lead for the Blue Demons. There's Murrow getting going up and under. Right hook, sky hook. Might have a jump ball. They're actually going to let him play it out. So good job by Peoples. Pass yeah. underneath. And that, that play started with Kiki Rimmer there. Uh, good reward for her to get the bucket. But 6-0 run for Butler. McElmore saying that felt like the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> back when I was a student here. Morrow answers right back. And just like that, the Bulldogs are within one. Morrow turnaround, no good. Good offensive board on the spot is Kiki Rimmer. Well, she, she put that one up there in a hurry. Quick trigger on that. Beautiful looking three. Chris pass underneath, wow. Morrow. Again, Carruthers, we talked about the 2021 Gatorade Indiana Girls Basketball Player of the Year. Throwing it back in, good hustle play by Allen. That one good, three point dagger. Yep. By number 35, Kendall Holmes. Transfer portal. Yep. Butler, you know, we talked about it a few weeks ago. St. John's. Oh, that got blocked. Le <laughs> no look, left hand, Kiki Rimmer. Is this person highly motivated? Is this person a, a winner? Will they go the extra mile? I, mean, I think that those are some of the things mm -hmm. that, that separate, okay. you know, the, the, the top kids from maybe the, just below the top kids, you know? Got it. Just, uh, kind of analogy in this game with an Anissa Morrow, you mm -hmm. know, and that, that's what makes what Anissa Morrow has done last year and this year so incredible. And there <laughs> she is up making a tough shot over multiple defenders. Oh, looking to the right, cuts left. She's got the lane. Oh, good yes. job switching left hand to right. Been to the state. I just oh. <laughs> haven't been to a game at South Carolina. Rogers driving, fadeaway, swish. Oh, my goodness. Switches left hand to right. Jane's a finance major, daughter of Doug and Mary. That one good for the Blue Demons. Morrow and another one. Any plays just really designed for you at the top? Yeah, uh, well, never really brought the ball. Okay. That was back in the day when uh, a center was a center was a center. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so offensive board after the missed free throw, driving the lane wide open, up strong. Incidental contact, Morrow now wide open. What a beautiful layup. Away by Morrow. Misguided pass attempt by Carruthers. Nice pass. Morrow thought about it, drives, had it kind of swiped away, pulls up for a long range two. No good. Offensive oh. board. My goodness, Peoples just leaning on the back of the defender. Three-pointer answered. Boom for Holmes. Peoples looks left. Rogers absolutely on fire from three. Rogers has felt it all night. Rogers looks in for more. Nothing there. Peoples back to more. More turns around. Hand in her face. Doesn't matter. Feed me more, says Morrow. Holmes tries to answer, able to do so. Right back at you. It's gotta be weird to see old sure. friends, old faces, old coaches play on a floor that used to be your home floor. And look at this defensive play by Anissa Morrow and the setup. She's had two plays now in transition where she is looking more like a point guard than a forward. Rimmer passes out. Morrow just decides to pull it up herself, hits the rim. Rare miss by Morrow. Rolls around. Good. Chance for the old fashioned three point play by Kiki Rimmer. They get that young nucleus or that core that he wants to build around those specific players. 
That, oh, beautiful three-pointer. Everybody's getting their hand in Madison Wardle now. It's gonna be it, that's all she wrote. DePaul defeats Butler, 87 to 62. Patricia, some momentum for DePaul now to head into this final stretch. Two in a row, that's what they need, especially at home. You've gotta win your home games. DePaul feeling a lot better, like they're getting back on track.